So, you want to know what the best Warframes are to use in any endless mission? Well, don't worry. I'm here to give you a very detailed list of what are the best Warframes to choose at every specific endless missions. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you should do is think about what is the best kind of Warframe you want to use in your squad for every mission. So we need to break down what are the essential gameplay elements of every frame, and they are DPS, Tank, Support, Utility, and Stealth. Since Stealth is better off for missions like Spy, Capture, Rescue, and Tank is a better alternative to Endless missions, we'll be using those instead. And all of the frames that qualify as Stealth are Loki, Ivara, Ash, and Limbo. Don't fight me on that last one. Since these frames are more optimal to these kinds of missions, we won't be using any of them really. Okay, so what are the best comps to make for every mission? Since I'll be going through them one by one in great detail, and giving my reasoning and why I chose those frames, I'm going to be putting timestamps on the bottom of the video. With that out of the way, let's get started. Survival. For survival, we'll be having one DPS frame, one tank frame, one support frame, and one utility frame. Uh, but just, what frames classify as those traits? And to that I say, I'm getting to that you impatient little shit. Since this game uses a lot of variety, I'm going to be using variety on my list as well. So I'm going to be using four examples for every role. Then you can pick the best one that suits you to comfort your style. This also allows for numerous different comps that can work roughly in the same way. For DPS frames, we have Ember, Chroma, Saren, and Mesa. The decision on what frame to pick here is whether or not your squad wants to camp. If you guys do want to camp in a hallway where enemies come through only one direction, then choosing a frame like Chroma or Mesa is a little better. If you're not camping, then Saren or Ember is better, since their damage is better used in a room full of enemies rather than just a corridor. For tanks, we have Nidus, Inaros, Rhino, and Valkyr. Nidus is here because of his great healing and CC, while also being very tanky to take all of that enemy aggro. The other three are here because they're unkillable, so if everything goes to shit, they'll be able to get you up and fighting again, and they'll give you a lot of CC or extra nice team buffs. As for utility, Volt, Nova, Nyx, and Neja are best. Because these frames either can give the whole squad buffs or can dish out a lot of CC or both. And for supports, they are Oberon, Trinity, Wisp, and Octavia. These frames are here to help the other frames not die so quickly. So, you know, since the DPS frame is usually die a lot quicker, the support frames will be there mostly just to keep that DPS frame alive. And there you have it the best frames for survival. So let's move on. Defense. For defense, it's better for us to have one DPS frame, one support frame, and two utility frames. For DPS, the best frames are Ember, Saren, Mesa, and Banshee. This is because their frames do a lot of damage in a big area of effect. For support, it's better to take Oberon, Wisp, Nidus, or Octavia. The support is here again just not to let the other frames die or to dish out a lot of CC and buff them up. For the two utility frames, you can take either Frost, Gara, Korra, or Nova. While you can't take two Frosts or two of the same frames, it's better just to combo them up with a Nova. That's why she's here. You can either slow the enemies to a halt and make the game super easy and boring, or speed them up with a speed Nova build which makes the game a lot more exciting, but a little harder in the endgame. It also makes the rounds go by a bit faster. And that's what we have for defense. Excavation. For excavation, we have the same setup as defense, because they share the same themes in protecting a stationary target. And they are one DPS frame, one support frame, and two utility frames. The best DPS frame is here is Mesa, Ember, Volt and Excalibur. Frames like Ember and Mesa kill the enemies really fast, that's why they're here. And Volt and Excalibur are here because they can deal out a lot of damage and apply very reliable and strong CC. For the support frames, 
we have yet again the frames that don't let you die so quickly, which are Oberon, Wisp, Trinity, or Nidus. And now the two utility frames can either be Frost, Vulban, Nova, or Gara. Here again, while you can't take two Frosts, it's better to pair them up with a Nova or a Vaban. This applies to any frames. It's just better to have different utilities and abilities than to just have the same two frames do the same things. Interception. For this, we need two utility frames, one support frame, and one tank. This is because there's no real reason to kill the enemies in here. This is because the game has a cap on how many enemies can spawn in the map at once so that the game doesn't crash. We don't need a DPS frame that can die really quickly and get overwhelmed. It's better to trade them for a tank that can't die and who can also give buffs and CC to the whole team. So for utility, we have Vauban, Frost, Nova, and Nyx. Although I would say Vauban and Nova is the best comp here, really, any comp you make here will work really well. For support, it's better to take Oberon, Octavia, Equinox, or Neja. This is because the support frame gives out either really good buffs or a lot of CC. For tanks, we have Rhino, Nidus, Frost, and Inaros. Frost is here again because he can work as a tank while also being very useful with his bubble and freeze. Sanctuary Onslaught. Although there are many guides out there for this, I still need to put it in here because I want this to be a guide to cover all endless missions. So here we go. For Sanctuary Onslaught, the point is to deal as much damage as possible. So we'll have frames that can do that, and we'll need two DPS frames, one utility frame, and one tank frame. For DPS, we have Saren, Ember, Volt, or Mesa. They just deal a lot of damage if built correctly. For tanks, it'll be Inaros, Valkyr, Nidus, and Rhino. Again, unkillable frames with nice team buffs. For utility, they'll be Nova, Nyx, Volt, or Oberon. Oberon and Volt are here not for support or DPS. They're both here for CC. So just a lot of range and duration on your builds for these two. The Faction. For the Faction, the best comp of frame types are 1 DPS, 1 support, and 2 utility. For DPS, it's better to go with Saren, Volt, Ember, or Mirage. Mirage with a proper build using an AoE weapon can be very useful. Or even a Mirage trap build. I have seen the Mirage trap build do a lot of damage, so it can work really well here. For supports, they are Oberon, Wisp, Trinity, and Equinox. Equinox is here because of her useful sleep. Use that a lot if you're going to play with her. As for the other three, they're here just not to make the rescue targets not die so fast. The two utility frames can be Nova, Nyx, Frost, or Vaban. Here the main goal is CC, just a lot of CC. Infested Salvage For Infested Salvage, you just need to keep enemies away from you and the three computers. So there's no need for a tank or a support frame here. So two DPS frames and two utility frames will be all you need. For DPS, they'll be Volt, Ember, Mesa, and Saren. Just damage damage and a little bit more damage. For the utility frames, Frost, Nova, Vaban, and Korra are best. You know, CCs, slows, all of that good stuff. Disruption. So for what basically is an endless mobile defense, we'll take the same frame types as defense missions, which are one DPS frame, one support frame, and two utility frames. There's no difference in the support and utility frames, so I'll just put them here first. The supports are Oberon, Wisp, Nidus, and Octavia, here again, for their amazing healing and buffs. And the utility frames are Frost, Gara. Korra and Nova for, well, obviously, their amazing crowd control. Now for the best DPS frames, all I need to do is change Banshee, since she's not as good with moving targets. And in this situation, Volt works best. So the DPS frames are Saren, Ember, Mesa, and Volt. And finally, the Index. Since the Index is technically an endless mission, I'm going to have to add it in here. But since there's no bigger value reward to go for, there's no real reason to do more than three indexes at once. Although doing two is more optimal. 
since the enemies get a lot harder, and it's just faster to reset after two wins. But anyways, there's no reason for me to tell you what frames you should go with, because there's only one frame you should go with, and it's Rhino. Just four Rhinos. Because gathering points doesn't affect your iron skin, an iron skin build would be best. But there's a better way to do the index with coordination. Instead of four rhinos, have either a slow nova or a mesa, just to kill enemies and have them mark points so that the other three rhinos can pick them up. This makes the game go a little faster, which is nice since all you need to do is win as fast as possible. And that's it. All endless missions with the best team comps to make you hit those high end level rewards the best way possible. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.